Hi everybody! I hope you all are having a wonderful week and staying warm. The sun is finally shining so that's exciting. Um, today we are talking about Jesus going into the wilderness. Um, our scripture today is based on Mark chapter 1 verses 12 through 13 which says, At once the Spirit sent him out into the wilderness and he was in the wilderness for 40 days being tempted by Satan. He was with the wild animals and angels attended him. Do you guys remember the baptism of Jesus? I know we've talked about it before, but let's see how much we can remember. Who baptized Jesus? Yep, you're right, John. Where was Jesus baptized? Yep, the Jordan River, good job. As Jesus came out of the water, do you remember what happened? The spirit descended like a dove and settled on him. Then a voice was heard from heaven. Do you guys know what it said? It said, you are my son whom I love. With you, I am well pleased. And then what happened? You know, a lot of people don't know what happened next. I didn't know what happened next, but our Bible lesson today is going to tell us what happened next. The Bible tells us that immediately after Jesus was baptized, the Spirit led him out into the wilderness. What does that mean? Well, a wilderness area is an area where there are no towns, no people, no roads, some trees, maybe a few plants. And in this particular case, it was very hot and dry, so like a desert area. It doesn't sound like a very fun place to be, does it? Well, it wasn't, but that's not all. The Bible tells us that Jesus was there for 40 days, and while he was there, he was tempted by Satan and was surrounded by scary wild animals. But the angels took care of him. Why do you think Jesus went into the wilderness to be tempted by Satan? He was led there by the Spirit so that he could be alone with God to think about his work and pray over his future plans. Through fasting and prayer, he prepared himself to travel the hard road that lay ahead in his life. This was a time that Jesus had to endure before he could call his followers and begin his earthly ministry by calling his disciples to come and follow him. Today is the first Sunday in the season of Lent. What is Lent? Well, Lent is the 40 days, not counting Sundays, leading up to the celebration of Easter. It's a time when we pray and think about all that Jesus has done for us. Some people observe Lent by giving up something that they like very much, such as eating candy or playing video games or watching TV. Um, others observe Lent by trying to concentrate on doing good for other people, such as giving to the poor, visiting the sick, collecting canned goods for the food pantry, or doing chores for a neighbor. Those are all good things too. But most of all, Lent is a time where we need to focus on the call of Jesus when he said, whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. Just as Jesus spent 40 days in the wilderness in preparation for his ministry, Lent is a good time for us to draw closer to God and ded dedicate ourselves to following Jesus every day. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, just as Jesus spent 40 days in the wilderness to prepare for doing your work on earth, help us to use this special time of the year to, to prepare our hearts for serving you in our world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 